It's the Abstractionist. I'm here with another deck review, deck haul. Uh, like I said in one of the other videos that I'm going to upload, I got three decks and this is one of them. So I went to Barnes & Noble, I was looking at stuff, blah blah blah, and I picked up this. So it's the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Deck and Guidebook by Lily Ashwell. There's some deck that she's made, right? Like, or they've made, right? Like another set of decks. Because I feel like I've seen this kind of font before. And I don't know if it's attributed to her. I might have to look it up later. But yeah. Looks like that. Yeah. So it comes with a box. Another box. <laughs> And a guidebook that's like more hard cover. Um, you open it up, it's really like that. And it goes through each of the cards. So this is one of those decks that's more like um like the astral alignment, like it does like signs, it does uh what is it called? Quadruplicities, triplicities and shit like that. You know the ones but if you talk about mutable fixed and carnal and then um water fire earth air like the elements like that um stuff like that it does those it does the planet it does south note north note and it does uh aspects so like conjunction clan kong stuff like that so this is the deck it's pretty um it's like the same size as the Wild Unknown. So if you have that deck, that's the size reference. So it goes through all of the planets and then it adds Chiron. So I'm just show you. Oh, it goes to the houses too. Forgot to say that. And then like the different conjunctions, the different um, aspects and the elements. And then, oh yeah, it has yin and yang as cards. And then it goes to, like cardinal and stuff like that. And then it ends on the uh, nodes, like the north node and the south node. So if you're looking for a deck that does that, then I would suggest this. Now, the reason why I shied away from this deck is that it seemed quite watery for a deck like this. Like, I don't know, like, I feel like its presence was very, like, Piscean, like, and I don't know if I, I was just like, I don't know if I want that certain aspect to come out from a deck that needs to kind of be a little bit neutral um, and not swing so much in one direction. And so if I do use this, it does seem like it would be readings that would use these sort of cards, but it may have to be some sort of been to it like I'm talking about the subconscious or some like shit like that like it, it 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 seems like it leans towards an elemental kind of expression and it seems like the element is water um that's it I guess maybe the color palette or something like that it just it doesn't feel like it's well grounded it's almost like a planet telling you how other planets and aspects are but it's it's through that lens and so I don't know I don't know what that means like I it may be like that it's good for dream work because it, it the, the color palette and the way that this is designed really gives me a Like we ain't all there type vibe. And that's not a dangerous thing. It just seems like it's one of those things like certain clients that would be drawn to using this deck, maybe going through like 
they, like they may be like coasting along and the psychological awakening that a normal I don't say normal but a normal person would go through would be like almost like too much for them to like psychologically deal with so like if you put it like this with these decks like like if this deck was a tarot deck and you got the death card even the death cards energy would be tamed like it wouldn't scream an alarm or something like that like the only thing that they may possibly feel like is kind of off-putting it's just like the, the word This could be for somebody who needs like animal support. Um, yeah, like animal support or um, spirit babies, stuff like that. Like, that's what I'm feeling about it. It was very interesting. And I don't know if like that means like I'm about to start doing that, but. Um, yeah maybe i need to read what she was going through with this um i could see that she mentions uh william blake okay i can see that Uh, I can, uh, yeah, there's something very watery about it. And yeah, and it was like, I've always been drawn to lies women needs to serve. This seems like a very pipe scene. I would be surprised. I grew up in a house on stilts tearing over the Pacific in front of a small climbing rock within the sea called Pelican's Rock by my brother and me. Yeah, it's very watery. Like, it's not bad. It's just. It's just real watery, like. So yeah, <laughs> I know people probably think like, "Bitch, like you don't trash this shit." No, it just I I could tell it seems very gentle and kind. Um, it's not trying to scare you. Um, I don't know if it would be for someone who, because it, like I said, it seems very plut not plutonian, Neptunian in nature. If you're more Plutonian, Uranian, Martian, you may not like this deck. You may feel like when you use it, it could be sugar coating shit. I, that's the vibe I get off of it. Not a bad vibe, but certain people may not like the energy because it seems like a soft energy. But, you know, the thing with Neptune is it kind of does trick you into thinking like, Oh, like it's all for going down, down, down. But you really are doing some deep psychological psychological shit. And so this could be for somebody who also on the flip side can do deep psychological work. But deep psychological work maybe presents itself through art, symbology, dreams, things that you um you are active in, yes but it may not feel so much of a, a disruption to your nervous system like a fight flight fawn freeze type thing it, it may not feel like that it may feel a lot gentler and therefore a lot more just psychologically um not uplifting but psychologically manageable okay Thank you for watching. What have been, what have your experiences been with this deck? If you've gotten it, do you want to get it? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.